Today's the day. We're going to have a great webinar all about the argumentative mode in the different content areas. Now, keep in mind with the argumentative mode, that could be persuasive, it could be opinion. All of those kind of get dumped now into this whole big umbrella of argumentative writing. Now, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Some things that we're going to really focus on today in this webinar are going to get into the nitty gritty details. You know, it's pretty easy for a student to say, well, here's my opinion about this, or here's the side I'm taking on this. But then it, well, they start falling short, don't they? They get that out there like in a topic sentence, but then the details are a bunch of fluff. You know, I even caught a student one time who knew that I was trying to get like six to eight sentences in a paragraph. I had a seventh grader one time who put, Mary had a little lamb right in the middle of the paragraph because he didn't think I was going to read it. He thought I'd just kind of make sure there's enough writing on the page and move on. But oh no, I was reading it and found all that crazy stuff he put in there just fluff to fill up space. So that's that mindset, right? But if we teach children a, a great process to understand what they're going to write, to brainstorm, to plan, to write, to revise and edit, they really can do away with the frustration and the anxiety of having to write, whether they're writing in science or social studies or language arts or math, doesn't really matter. That's a little sneak peek of what we're going to work on the day to build really strong details and argumentative with especially talking about the counter argument and rebuttal. All right, looking forward to seeing you today. Don't forget.